Recently, there's been a lot of interest in the potential to reestablish oyster beds in the northern part of the St. John River system. So Quint told me that he was uh, doing a research project um, looking at the growth of oyster beds. And I said, you know, I think I can help you out with this. I can actually take some aerial photographs of these oyster beds that can be used to create 3D models of the oyster bed. And once you create the 3D model, you can actually measure the cubic displacement of the mound above the water line, basically measuring how large the oyster bed is. And then over time, if you keep making different models, you can actually then compare the models to see if are the beds getting larger, are they getting smaller, and then Quint can then discover why they're getting larger, why they're getting smaller. This particular project allows for students to have a real-world problem and have um, a real-world application uh, so that they're able to go out in the field, look at the environment and the ecosystem, look at what they're actually mapping, bring those data back into the lab, and create maps uh, that then can be used and shared among the rest of um, the collaborators of the project. There's definitely two fronts to this project. There's the field work where you get all nice and dirty, but there's also the desk work where you sit behind the computers and crunch the data and work the GIS. I'm also trying to get other students involved. I'm sure we'll expand to other creeks and other areas of Duval and maybe even other counties. They're going to find that this project will ask more questions perhaps than it answers, but will open more doors than it closes, and who knows where it will actually lead.